everyone, welcome back to another corner of the internet. I hope you're all doing well. I have a vlog video for you today, but what I realized when I was starting to edit the clips together is that I haven't provided any context. It's just like a bunch of clips from one day and then a bunch of clips for another day. So I thought I might throw it back to, I think when I like first started vlogging, this is kind of the format that I'd do it where I'd talk about what was going on and then I'd show you a bunch of clips that related to that. The first couple of clips are from the 5th of January and it is the day that my sister arrived in Wellington. Um, I was late to pick her up from the airport because I'd just been having a massage that had run over so instead of having like 45 minutes to get to the airport and things I only had like 10-15 minutes so I was a little bit late and I didn't get the shot that I wanted that was like me holding up the sign and her coming through like the gates so I just met her at baggage. From there we went straight to KK Malaysia which is our favourite Malaysian restaurant in Wellington. We've been going there for so many years like I'd say at least 10-11 years that we've been going to this restaurant. The menu is always delicious and of course Charlie was craving that from not having it for a full year so we went there. Then later on in the evening we went to see Mary Poppins at the embassy and downstairs at the embassy they have a couple of smaller theatres and um, they also have a cocktail bar called the Black Sparrow and you can bring your cocktails into the movie theatre. So we sipped on a few cocktails while we uh, watched Mary Poppins which was such a cool movie and then I took Charlie to this pasta restaurant in Wellington called 1154. This place is relatively new to Wellington and I've only gone there a couple of times and I've loved it every single time so I was glad that I got to take Charlie there as well. The next couple of clips are from the following weekend which was also my bachelorette or my hens weekend uh, which was really cool. Charlie had planned the whole thing for um, us and a couple of our friends and it was just a really fun time because I had like no clue what was going on. They like surprised me with a bunch of stuff throughout the whole weekend starting with a pair of these Disney ears which are like the wedding ones that have a veil on the end and they were so cool. I had to wear them all weekend and I definitely wasn't mad about it. When we got to Martinborough they told me that I wasn't allowed to come out of my bedroom for a bit while they were doing some decorations and when I came out they were all standing there wearing t-shirts that said Sammy's Hindu and I had one that said bride to be that Charlie had designed. They'd put up some hens party balloons and they had like a bunch of food and drink ready. We then put a little bit of like a cheese platter together and we played a few little bridal games of like having to guess what the emojis meant in terms of like a wedding saying and then like a bunch of other things like that. And then we got ready to go on to a bike tour through the vineyards which if you've ever been to Martinborough is kind of like the thing that you do that you hire bikes and you bike between the vineyards and you do wine tastings and things and it was just a super lovely afternoon. While we were at this vineyard, Moy Hall, we tried to take a jumping photo which I'm pretty sure the tradition of my family started in like Easter 2011 I want to say that we just like always take jumping photos. We took a few at the wedding as well so I'll chuck them in here. We tried to take some looking through the vines and as you can see here it was a bit of a massive fail. I think all the other people at the vineyard probably thought we'd already had like too much wine or were just insane but even just that like trying to take all these photos was just such a fun time and I have such good memories of it. Then the next bit of footage I have is actually from the week after Nick and I got married. It was the first day that we had gone back to work so we just had like a little bit of a picnic dinner. We got some hell pizza and some corn nuggets which I absolutely love and we actually just had like a picnic on the back of the ute. Um, we drove up to this really nice view. We kind of just debriefed about what our days had been like, how like insane it was that we'd already been married for a week and it was just a really nice time. If you missed me mention it uh, in my last video which is like the update one, I do plan on doing a bit of like a wedding, all about our wedding video um, with a couple of video clips that my sister very kindly filmed for us and also with our photos, some of the photos from the day as well but we're just waiting to get our photos back from our photographer and then as soon as we have them we can film that video and I can share a bit more of the day with you guys. That's kind of it. I really wish I had more footage of my friends being here and all the fun like activities and things that we got up to but at the same time I'm really glad that I was just able to like treasure those moments and hang out with them in real life and not have to be worried about filming everything. Um, so yeah I wish I had those memories for me to keep and also for to show you guys but I wouldn't change how anything went because it was just such a lovely time. Um, I think I'm going to end this video here. I will apologise now for the lighting because I realise it's just gotten super dark. The day that I'm filming this the weather keeps going like very overcast and I think it's about to rain so that's why I look like I'm filming this at like night time when really it's like 9am in the morning. Thank you though for watching this video if you have made it this far. Um, I hope you are all having a wonderful week and keep an eye out next week I have a bit of a wedding dress video coming up for you guys. See ya!